um, pursuing my goals and my dreams and just doing these things, even working out. I would be so on fire in the beginning, but somewhere along the way, I would get burnt out. And I didn't understand why I would repeat this cycle over and over again until I really had this breakthrough. And God was like, Erica, you keep trying to do it without me. He'll give me this great idea. And I'm like, God, you are amazing. You want me to do this? Okay. And I finally get the courage to do it. And then I'll do it without him. And so in the process, I would lose that fire and my faith. Because essentially, you know, faith comes by hearing the word of God. And so if I'm not pressing in in my Bible and reading and worshiping, I don't feel lit because God is the ultimate fire starter, right? Yes. And so the only way you can stay lit is to be connected to the source. And so we would we pursue God so much and so often, like, God, what am I supposed to be doing? Who am I? What, you know, what am I supposed to be doing next? And the moment that he reveals it, it's like, okay, I got it. I got this. And then we don't get very far. Mm -hmm. And wherever we do get, we start to feel like, oh my God, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. We're faced with those uncertainties, the doubt, and the fear, all these different fire extinguishers, right? We start allowing opinions of other people, the lack of support, and even our own selves. Like, I tear myself down so much because I am a perfectionist, and so I allow fear in that whole aspect of being a perfectionist. Like, okay, this isn't good enough. and. God said, what I've given you is always good enough. Right. But when I'm not connected, that's when everything else starts to sink, like a sinking ship, right? And so I don't even want to acknowledge just the fear of pursuing our goals and dreams, but life happens. So you can be doing your thing, and what if you get laid off from a job? What if you go through something where I've been divorced before, and like that just hits you like a ton of bricks, and you're like, hi, what is going on? And you can start to lose your focus. Because it gets difficult to say, how am I supposed to be lit and I'm going through this? Yeah. And the word tells us we are going to go through something. It doesn't say if, maybe. It says when trouble comes your way, allow this to be a testing of your faith. And so how much faith are you really um, depending on or relying on? And you don't go to church just when you're desperate mm -hmm. and when you're in need of prayer. You go to church because you want to stay consistent and you cultivate that fire in that relationship with the Lord. And so the moment that you're faced with something that seems like I cannot get out of this, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, your faith is what helps you survive because it gives you peace. You have that joy even in the midst of chaos, right? And so, like, that is so important. That's for me uh, that I can share with you guys. That has been my experience. Just the faith component is so powerful because that is really what keeps you on fire. You know, and obviously you can't do anything without the Lord. You can do nothing apart from him. He is the vine. We are the branch. And so the moment that we're, we're thinking we're getting the side of ourselves and we're outgrowing something, God will cut that thing. That's true. You know, he will cut it. If it's not giving life or doing what he wants you to do, he will, he will, if it's dead, you know, like he's taking relationships from me, even friendships in certain seasons because they haven't done for me what God needed to do for me. And right now, God has been very purposeful and very intentional in what I want to do. And if you're on fire for something, you link up with women who is going to push you forward. Not going to keep you right there and say, oh, girl, I don't know, that's too hard. You're like, I don't know. I actually did a Facebook Live the other day and seeing when um, the Israelites were going to go into the promised land. And uh, they sent some scouts out. And so, you know, we have a few people on our team who are scouts like, girl, you can do it, or I don't know. It looks too risky. It looks too difficult. And God's like, you don't need scouts. If I told you to go and possess this right. thing, yeah. do it with faith. And that is the only way you're really going to stay lit. Because that's going to keep you encouraged. Even in a moment when you feel like people aren't supporting you, they're not sharing yourself, they're not showing up. Like, God, you told me to do this. And when your focus is the Lord and being yeah. obedient, because obedience means right now. It doesn't mean later on, okay, well, when I get the courage to do it, or when my makeup looks good, I'll do the makeup, I mean, I'll do the video, or what it, it means right now. And so as long as you stay connected to the Lord and you are really developing, cultivating that faith aspect and component, like you can do anything. Like I look around at so many women that I am inspired by, and when I tell you they are lit, and I'm like, oh my God, like how are they like this? And it's because they have so much faith in the Lord and in themselves. Right. And once you believe in yourself, like it doesn't matter who doesn't show up. It doesn't matter who claps for you. It doesn't matter about the lack of resources because we know God owns 100,000 cattle on the yeah. hill. So that's nothing for him, right? So 
my what I want to share with you guys is just stay close to the Lord. Like again, it's so easy to just say, okay, every day I'm gonna wake up at 5:30 and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna go about my day. Life happens, you know. Sometimes your kid will wake up in the middle of the night and they'll throw you off and you're exhausted. But I noticed with me, the moment that the leash gets too or not too long. But the moment that I wake up and I say, okay, God, I got this. I don't have it. Like, I have the worst attitude. I'm a happy-go-lucky person by nature. But lately, God is showing me, no, you can't even do that without me. You can't even be kind without me. You can't give a compliment without me. And so it's so important to stay connected to the Lord, even if it's hard. Let that be the main thing that you want to do before you leave your house. Because that's going to make you successful everywhere you go, anything that you touch. And so that is my message to you guys. And the fire starter that I want to acknowledge as a trailblazer, let me tell you. So I talked about like doing things and you getting discouraged and you give up. That has been me for so long. But this lady, her name is Nikki, she is here. And I've met her on social media. You got to do it. You go. You take it anywhere. And this woman is such an inspiration because she is unapologetically herself. And like that is empowering to me to see women walking in who they are, not looking to the left or to the right or caring about what other people are doing. Even if it looks strange and crazy to somebody else. And that's how she's been. And that's who she's been to me. And even the things that she shares, that she's authentic. I am drawn to women who are authentic and are powerful in their own way. And, and that's what Nikki is. And she shared something on her face, on her Instagram one day, just talking about how she's, um, you know, started different businesses and they weren't successful at first, but she didn't give up. And that spoke volumes to me. Um, just with releasing my book and not thinking it did as well as I wanted it to, being on the couch with Oprah and all that other stuff. It's like, there's other ways to accomplish the goal. And just because this path didn't lead to that, it doesn't mean God changes mind, it means you change your focus, right? Mm, yeah. And so I feel like she is, and I admire her so much because she's completely focused and she locked into who she is and what she wants to do. And I admire that so much. And that's why I picked you to be our trailblazer. Come up here. And y'all, I want y'all.